Hey yo! <laughs> Good morning, another morning on Sunday. It's range test time. Always do it on Sunday because there's no traffic, no trucks are allowed on German highways. And last week was Easter weekend. This weekend is nothing special. And I see it already on the parking lot and on the way here that it's less traffic. That's always awesome. This is the Polestar 2 all-wheel drive performance so it has a stiffer suspension than a normal all-wheel drive we have 350 kilowatt with the same battery as the single motor version that i tested last week so 82 kilowatt hours 79 kilowatt hours can be used so these are different motors and i'm pretty sure i cannot get the range that i got with the single motor last week where I got 383 kilometers. We'll see what range we get today. It's also a tiny bit colder. I would say it's around eight degrees, um, but wasn't it around that too? I can't remember. I had needed the heat to get here, but it was the same last week too. And I'm gonna charge to 95% as always, <laughs> because I plugged in at around 58. I only get 80 kilowatt. Now it's 60 kilowatt at 76%. That's not amazing because the battery is not perfect temperature and it doesn't heat it up and you cannot heat it up with buttons and it says to 100 percent it's an hour <laughs> and i'm not gonna wait an hour for the last five percent because the last five percent can take 20 30 25 minutes something like this and uh, i think those five percent are fine because we're still gonna calculate it and we're here right on the highway gonna drive on the highway drive gps speed 130 and then arrive at the charger ionity charger on the other side by the way one ionity charger here is stuck it says uh, 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 it wants to authorize a card and it's thinking and thinking and thinking and there's no button to reset it at 80 percent 43 kilowatt that's not amazing and here is the charger that doesn't work it just does this and this if i press stop nothing happens and we have a lot of flower stuff what is it pollen on the car needs to be washed big time <laughs> needs to be washed big time beautiful car drives amazingly when you want to drive sporty drives horrible if you like it comfortable I'm on my way. I'm driving 133 on the speedometer, which is 130 GPS speed. I just started. I charged to 90% because it said from 90 to 100% 40 minutes. That's too long. <laughs> Who has the time for something like that? No, that's just way too long. That's, oh my God. And my consumption right now, we, need, we look at the left number here. Um, it only 12 kilometers is high because the first 10 kilometers are uphill as always my god this car is bumpy uh, but uh, driving is nice i still have the heat on on 22 degrees because it's a bit cold um, but at some point i'm pretty sure i will turn off the heat it's 12 degrees outside everything is fine uh, yes nothing more to say I'm at 65% and I drove 93 kilometers, so I used 25% of my battery. So 93 times 4 is, let's ask, 93 times 4. 93 times 4 is 372. 372 kilometers. 
<laughs> Why would I think? Consumption 237, that's higher than in the single motor, I think at that time. Um, average speed is amazing. The drive is amazing. I drive the 130 the whole time. Sometimes I have to speed up a tiny bit to pass the car. It's awesome. I turned the heat back down to 21 degrees. And I think at some point I can turn it off completely. Uh, I don't think it's doing too much right now. I'm at 40%, so I used 50% of my battery and I drove 176 kilometers, which is 352. So the range went down from 372 to 352. We'll see if it goes down more if we arrive at the charger. Consumption is 236, wasn't it the same before? Uh, the heat is now off. No heat, no AC, it's perfect. I'm already looking at Google Maps at what state of charge I will arrive at the charger. Right now it says 14% and I believe it since I'm doing a 130 test. If I would drive 110, I would, wouldn't believe the arrival t uh, um, state of charge that it shows me here. And when it says, I don't know, 6-7%, I will turn around. Now I navigate it back to the charger because suddenly it went from 12% to 6 uh, and possible that the next, the next exit was just so far away and it's, I don't know, 20 kilometers more or so and so, uh, but um, uh, it says I arrive now with 70% and usually the way back I have a bit less consumption so I, I, I guess this will get even higher, the state of charge where I arrive. I'm still at 236 a watt hours per kilometer average consumption. Um, yes, the drive at 130 with the Polestar 2 all-wheel drive performance, it's very sporty. Every little bump I can feel very well. I notice it when I'm filming that the camera is doing this. <laughs> uh, on the highway, if it's a good highway, it's okay, but if it's a bad highway, it's not really comfortable. It's a sporty car, it's the performance version. I get it. Not my thing. I like it comfortable, but uh, that's, some people like it and that's okay. Noise level at 130 is totally fine. Uh, I notice two things. One, when you I'm listening to a podcast and uh, it's possible I can adjust it, but I couldn't find it quickly is the volume change when you drive faster because I notice when I drive faster I have to turn it up a bit and then when I drive slower I have to turn it down so it's not doing it the volume increase when you drive faster too well uh, it's just possible that there's a setting somewhere and I haven't found it yet so that's fine the other thing is it happened again with this Polestar 2 it happened with the single motor as well I was driving with the self steering there was an exit like now into this uh, um, parking on, from the highway and it steered into that parking thing into the exit so and very strongly so I was ha I was paying attention and I was ha I had my hand on the steering wheel and whoop it went in and I was, ah! that was I could hold it back it's no problem but that was scary and I had it in the other Polestar 2 and I had it way back with the Volvo XC40 I didn't have it again with others 
uh, Volvos. I don't know what happened. And again, like I said, it doesn't recognize my touch. Um, I still don't know if it's because of touching or because of steering. I tried just steering here, so not on the steering wheel, it's uh, on the outside of the steering wheel and it recognized. So I, I'm, now I'm tending more to that it wants steering. <laughs> I thought more before it was touched, so if I have to hold it harder, but it's, it's always hard to find out on the highway because when you hold hard, um, you're also holding the steering wheel and if the car wants to go in a different direction, then it notices, hey, you're steering somewhere else, you're here. So it's always hard to know. You have to ask people, see, already at 8%. But other than that, the cruise control is fine. Uh, again, I'm not the fan of if I set a speed at the cruise control that when it's downhill it drives faster on the country road um, I don't want to drive faster than 110 and if it's downhill I have to put the cruise control speed to 107 and in 90% other cars you can set it to 110 and it won't go over but this car does and I don't like that at all because then when it's straight it's doing 107 and not the 110 that you want so either you adjust it or you drive to slower speed eh, that's not my thing but it's a I, you, uh, in the power drive video you will see I did that yesterday it is very powerful and it's amazing in corners yeah whatever <laughs> I'm annoying here <laughs> This video was supported by Maingau Autostrom. With Maingau you can charge at over 550,000 charging stalls all over Europe. And you can use this tiny little chip that's amazing to have on your keychain. I love it very much. It's so easy. You don't have to go into your pocket or anything. You have it on your keychain. If you want to know more, there's a link in the description below. I arrived with 9%. Drove 285.1 kilometers. Google Maps says it's 288. Consumption 229 watt hours per kilometer. When I take the 288 kilometers and the 81% I use out of the battery, I get to 355 kilometers of full range today at this drive, which is amazing because the single motor did 383. So that's 28 kilometers. What is that? 8%, 7% less for an all wheel drive performance I think that's pretty good good consumption good range um, I'm charging now a bit I got 209 kilometers uh, 209 kilowatt right at, uh, in the beginning but it went down to 180 kilowatt pretty fast it's the same charging curve I made a video then with the Volvo XC40 C40 the new battery the 82 kilowatt hour battery it's all the same and it's pretty good but and also uh, this has the 20 inch wheels the the single motor had the 19 inch wheels if you want to follow me on instagram battery life one and if you want to support the channel there's a patreon link in the description below and here on youtube there's also channel membership but that's it for me thank you very much for watching have a great day and take care bye